pulled off the main road, headed truffle hunting. First truffle hunt in my life. I am thrilled. Not just because we got truffles coming, but we're also going to pick morels because it is morel season and apparently the conditions have been perfect. It's been raining and now the sun has come out. So the expectation is there's going to be a lot of fruiting. Up ahead is a couple truffle hunters. One, a guy who started as a truffle hunter with a little stand at a, at a farmer's market and has kind of now built himself a little gastronomic empire here in Savino. Really looking forward to going to see what's in the woods. Wild produce is elusive. It's not where you want it to be. It's where mother nature wants it to be and where the perfect growing conditions are. Truffle foragers definitely have their work cut out for them. Man, is it tough. You gotta know the secret spots, you gotta understand the species that you're looking for, and then you gotta go hike your ass off in order to go find them. Truffles live symbiotically with oak and pine tree roots, so off to the forest we went to go find them. We're looking for the Bianchetti truffle, an elusive variety, and it's late in the season, so it's tough, but thankfully we've got some good foragers and a dog to help us. Truffles want animals to find them, eat them, and spread their spores. That's why they emit a powerful aroma when they're ripe, and dogs and pigs can hone in on it. The way that it's supposed to work is that when the dog finds a truffle, he gets a piece of mortadella. This dog is in training. Unfortunately, the dog would get real excited when he'd find some and end up eating them themselves, and that is quite an expensive doggy treat. At the end of the day, we came away with only a small handful of tiny truffles, but it was the experience of a lifetime. Finally, crossing it off my bucket list.